Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Joy Sherelle Brown. I am the owner of Third Person Omniscient Productions and I am the author of The Secret of Life Through Screenwriting, How to Use the Law of Attraction to Structure Your Screenplay, Create Characters and Find Meaning in Your Script. I am also a screenwriter. I have been writing screenplays since I was 10 years old. And today I wanna talk about the pilot for the show, Secession. So, I um, first discovered Secession um, because The Hollywood Reporter did a panel of interviews and Karen Culkin was one of the people being interviewed, one of the actors that they interviewed for this panel. Um, they did this panel during the pandemic. So Karen Culkin is one of the stars of Secession. Um, as you guys know, Karen Culkin is the brother of Macaulay Culkin. Um, his first breakout role was in the movie Igby Goes Down back in like the early 2000s but I remember Karen Culkin his first role one of his first roles as Fuller from Home Alone. Um, as you guys know Home Alone is like that movie that made me start writing screenplays because I initially wanted to become an actress and it looked like Macaulay Culkin was having so much fun so I was like I want to become an actress and I asked my parents to get me an agent and they told me no. So that's how my screenwriting journey started. I started writing screenplays so that I can eventually act in my own productions. Um, but I ended up liking screenwriting better than acting. Um, I have written some roles for myself, so I still plan to act in the future, but I am primarily and foremost a screenwriter. So Karen Culkin was talking about his role playing Roman Roy on the show Secession. So I was like, oh, okay, like Karen is in the show. I really want to check it out. So I finally was able to see the pilot episode of Secession um, last week. Um, it's also starring, um, it's also starring Jeremy Strong, who plays Kendall. It's starring Brian Cox, who plays the, the patriarch of the Roy family, who created their billion dollar empire. Um, they are a billionaire family, and they are one of the leading media families conglomerates in the world in this, in this show. So there are um, a few things that a pilot episode needs to do. And um, Secession pretty much ticks off all of these boxes of what needs to happen in a pilot. So when you write a pilot episode for your television series idea, the pilot needs to do a few things. So first of all, the pilot needs to um, tell the audience why this story will last more than one season. Um, in television history. Let me give you a little bit of a lesson in television history. In television history, it was the sweet spot for a show to make it to five seasons. This is because in network television, you had about 22 to 25 episodes per um, season of television. And when you got to five seasons, you had about 100 episodes. When you got to about 100 episodes of television, then that meant that your, your television series was very viable to be syndicated. And syndication was where the creators and the stars of the show would also make a lot of money. The, the arena of syndication is kind of, I think it's kind of dying out because of the streamers. Um, because the streamers like Netflix and HBO Max and um, Apple TV and Disney Plus, they want to own their content. They want to own their content because it makes their streaming service more valuable. So they want the show to be exclusively on the streamer. So I don't really know what's happening with people's contracts when creators are making television series um, because they are losing some avenues of revenue because the shows are not really going to be going into syndication like they used to. Um, you used to be able to have like a show be syndicated on channels like TBS, TNT, like all of the basic um, cable channels used to have like syndicated shows that come on between like 5 p.m. and like 7.30 p.m. Um, that's kind of going the way out the window. So, but it's still traditionally a television series is going to aim to try to have five seasons. So in the pilot for Secession, Brian Cox, the patriarch of the, the family, um, it, his health is not the best. He's getting older um, and it's getting to the point where it's like, you know, dad's getting pretty up there and like he's going to probably die soon. Um, he, he seems to have a little bit like a touch of dementia as well, um, because in the first episode, like the first scene, not the first episode, the first scene of the first episode, um, he's trying to find the bathroom, they're in a new place, 
Um, and he's like really disoriented. He doesn't know where he is. And he like pees in the corner on the carpet. So first thing immediately, you know, okay, this is the situation. The patriarch of this conglomerate media family is starting to kind of lose his faculties. Um, and it is, you know, looking like he could die at any moment. So who's going to step up and take the place? So the, the, the episode is written in a way where the number one primary person who seems like he's going to take the place of Brian Cox, um, and Brian Cox's name is Logan Roy. So the, the, the child, there, there are four kids in the family. Um, there's Connor, um, played by, please forgive me, I don't remember his name, but he was the guy who was Ferris Bueller's friend in Ferris, Ferris Bueller's Day Out. He's the oldest Roy child. His name is Connor. Then there's Jeremy Strong, who plays Kendall. Um, there is Sarah Snook, who plays Shiv, um, which is short for Siobhan. And then there is Karen Culkin, who plays Roman. So out of the four um, offspring in the Roy family, the person who's most poised to take the place of um, Logan Roy is Kendall Roy, who is played by Jeremy Strong. So in the first episode of um, a pilot, you want to set up, like, why will this series last for five or more seasons, right? So um, Kendall Roy is po poised to take over the media conglomerate. He has, like, new ideas for the, the, the family to go into the digital market. His father is like, no, it doesn't matter. We're good the way we are. He's like, no, like, we operate like a dinosaur. And you get that from the first few scenes of the episode because um, Kendall is trying to do a deal and the people that he's trying to do a deal with, they're like, yeah, like, no, I'm not really interested because Kendall, they need this guy and his company and their content to be able to come become even more relevant because everything's changing. The world is changing. And so um, he, he calls the Roy dynasty, he calls them dinosaurs. Um, because they do things in an old fashioned way. And you get pretty quickly that Logan is not interested in really changing the way he does things because he thinks like I built this empire and like obviously my instinct is right. And so um, the, the child that's poised to take over um, most likely is Kendall. But you also find out in this episode that um, Logan is not really keen on Kendall taking over because Kendall is kind of soft. Um, Kendall is like he makes like Logan doesn't respect the decisions that he makes. Um, he doesn't think that he has what it takes. And as I watched the pilot twice, the first time I watched the pilot, I'm like, yo, like Kendall is weak. Like he's, he's not gonna do a good job. Like I, I really, and it, it doesn't help that Jeremy Strong played a terrible character in um, Molly's game. So I kind of didn't like him already, um, <laughs> but um, he's actually doing a, a fantastic job acting as Kendall Roy. Um, because in the second episode, I'm not really focused on the second episode, but in the second episode, Sarah Snook's character, Shiv, tells Kendall why, look, this is why you would not make a good, like, chairman or a CEO. This is why you would not be good. She lists, like, four or five adjectives, and they all describe him to a T. She describes these four or five adjectives to describe Kendall Roy in episode two. And episode one, they spent the whole episode showing us that he fits all of those adjectives. And that's what you want to do. You don't want to just have a character say, oh, you're lazy and ignorant. You want to have scenes that show that this character is lazy and ignorant. And then somebody can say it later on to kind of like drive the point home, but you want to do your due diligence to show that first. Okay, so going back to the pilot episode showing why this series should last for five or six seven, eight, nine, 10 seasons. So Kendall finds out that Logan has decided like, oh, I'm not stepping down now. Like I've changed my mind. So Kendall's like, well, when, when do you plan to step down? Because you know, you're getting older. You could die at any moment. He doesn't say it like that, but you know, basically. And so Logan responds like, I don't know, five years, 10 years. And so you, you know, automatically this series is going to be about who takes his place. Who is succeeding as the chairman of the board, the CEO of the company? Who's going to take Logan Roy's place? Is it going to be Kendall? Is it going to be Shiv? Is it going to be Roman? Is it going to be Connor? Connor seems like he don't give a damn about any of this stuff. He, he doesn't care. Um, Roman just seems like a 
like a huge asshole, but you know, and he doesn't seem to be that bright, but um, you just never know. Shiv seems like she doesn't care either. She's working in politics and she's happy with that. So Kendall is the one who wants it more, but their father presents them with options that they could take over the whole company. So when his, the father says, Shiv, you know, maybe you could take over the whole company or Roman, you could take over the whole company. They kind of start thinking about it a little more seriously. And they, you know, they basically are like, maybe I'll take over the company, but Kendall definitely isn't fit to do it. So another thing the pilot does is shows, um, so it's, it showed you that the, the series can last five to 10 seasons. Just basically, you know, we're waiting for the father to die and to see who's going to take over. That's the premise of the series. Um, and that's what your pilot needs to do. Your pilot needs to show us what is the premise of the series. Um, Another thing the pilot does effectively, we meet all of the characters. There are a lot of characters on the show. First of all, because there are four children in the family. Then there is um, the new wife, which, you know, I, you don't really have an idea of how long they've been married, Logan and Marcia, but you know that she's not their mother. Um, so it's the four children, those two, then they're the people who work for the company. It's, it's a pretty big cast. Okay, so one thing that you can do to introduce us to a lot of characters at once, and one thing that this that Secession does, they give us a party scene. So the, the episode, the pilot, um, starts with um, Logan having a birthday party. So this is a great way for the writers to introduce to us all of the characters at once. And then we get to see how they interact with each other. We get to get an idea of what the relationships are between the kids and these families, because they're all adult children. So great one great thing they do they tell us why in the pilot this series is going to last for five to ten seasons they show us and introduce to us all of the characters at once by having a party and we get to see the characters interact with each other and we get to see their personalities and we get to get an understanding of where these characters might grow because of the pilot the person who's probably going to do the most growing and have the most character development is probably going to be kendall roy who's played by jeremy strong the other thing um, that they do in the pilot, well, those are those are the two um, two major things that you want to do in a pilot. You want to introduce us to the characters, show us who's going to have the most character growth, um, where the characters have um, growth that needs to take place, um, and you need to tell us uh, why the series is going to last. Why am I going to sit here and watch this this show episode after episode, season after season? So those are the great things that happen in the, the pilot for Secession. If you have not checked out the show, check it out. Um, I might come back later on and do some more um, YouTube videos on the show because I have a feeling like the pilot was excellently written um, and episodes one and two go very well together because like episode one has like a huge cliffhanger that is resolved in episode two. So, um, in traditional network television, it would have been like the end of episode one probably would have been a to be to, to be continued. Um, so check out the show, Succession is on HBO Max. Um, and I'm sure if you have regular HBO, it's probably on that too. But with HBO Max, you can stream it whenever you want. So check it out. Um, thank you for joining me with this uh, YouTube video and make sure that you like this video if you liked it. Share it out with your friends if you found it to be helpful. And um, Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future episodes um, and click that bell so you'll get notifications. Thank you guys and you have a great rest of your week. You guys have some happy writing.